the doorbell ringing. That was just Cheryl bringing me my coffee. Oh, Cheryl. She just can't quit being my assistant, can she? <laughs> You're the best. Hey there, welcome to Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table for Two. I am Justin Timberlake, and this is my co-star in our new movie, Palmer, Ryder Allen. Hi! That boy, that's Sam. His mama took off. He'll be staying with us till she's back. You know you're a boy, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna ask each other some questions and hilarity will ensue, I'm sure. Ryder, you ready? Yep. What was your first impression of me in our first read together? What was your impression of me and be nice? My first impression, anyways, I was gonna say that you were really, really nice. I had an LOL doll um, right there and it had like crazy rock hair that was like up really high and stuff. And then right. Justin was like, that reminds me of what I think Miss Vivian's hair will look like. <laughs> I said that to you? Yeah. But the point uh... is, so my first impression on you, Justin, was that you were really nice and it seemed like you were really professional, but you were also like, you also understand it that like having fun is really important in an experience of acting. So yeah, my first impression of you was good. I like it, satisfactory, I'll take it. Good. Okay, you. what's your first question for me? Okay, my question for you is, what do you remember most about our audition and what made me the right actor to play Sam? Ah, okay. I think the reason that you were, we knew you were going to be best was that you have an intuition as an actor. You came in uh, and uh, we would read a scene and then I would keep going uh, in an improvisational way and you stayed in the scene with me and you listened and you reacted and you even said some very hilarious things that I remember when we would end the scene, everybody would laugh. I, my hope for you and your future is that you're that good in every audition because you were fantastic. Thank you. There's things in this world you can be and there's things that you can't. How many boys do you see on that show? None. And what does that tell you? That I can be the first. Chick or treat! Oh, I got some treats. My, my turn, ready? Sam is your first movie role and it's a pretty big one. What did you love so much about this character and how badly did you want the role? I wanted that role more than anything. Um, Cause I really felt attracted to it. I loved the message that it brought out in me that I could bring out by it. I love that my character really understands the passion of acceptance, if you know what I mean by that. He accepts lots of people for who they are because he knows it's the right thing to do and because just that's what he does. That's Sam. That's, that's me. And of course, I was really interested to meet you, Justin. <laughs> well, thank you, buddy. Um, that was a great answer. Thank you. You want to ask me the next question? Um, sure. So we did a lot of things together. Brushed teeth, the drives to school, milkshakes, Halloween, etc. What's your favorite memory from our scenes? Oh man, I have so many. But you know what? One of my favorite, one of my favorite um, moments in the movie uh, for your character and that I thought you were just brilliant in uh, was the moment where where you tell the lady in the grocery store who's telling me, you have no business raising a kid, you're nothing but a criminal, and you tell her she can mind her own ass. And then we walk outside and I look at you almost like a, like a child and I say, I'm doing good, right? And you say, Real good. That's right. And that, and the way you delivered that line, young man, was 
Oh, every time I watch it, I get all up in my feelings. Thank you. You're welcome. Action. Sam, I'm doing good, huh? Real good. Oh, and by the way, really sorry that the doorbell ringing, that was just Cheryl bringing me my coffee. Is it our writer, Cheryl? Yes. Oh, Cheryl. She just can't quit being my assistant, can she? <laughs> You're the best. Okay, June Squibb plays the grandma figure in Sam's life. What is your favorite memory of working with her and the scenes you shared with her? My favorite scene with June and my favorite experience with her is when we're in the car coming back from church and she's like, some people just have too much to say. Because I really felt like that was a real grandson and grandma moment, kind of. Where you keep saying, what do they say? And Yeah, yeah, that one. Because, I don't know, there's just something about that scene that made me feel more connected to June. So that's my favorite scene with her. Also because it's really funny. My mom and dad laughed when they saw that scene. So did I. It's really funny. It's great. When you say at the end of the scene, you say, geez, Louise. <laughs> So I am gonna go over here and ask you this question. Palmer helps Sam deal with bullies. Were you ever bullied? And what do you say to anyone else who is getting bullied? I, w I you know, you heard me uh, tell you this. I was bullied when I was a kid for being into music and acting and, all, and stage and, and the arts. Where I grew up is very similar to where our character and our characters in our movie is set, um, which is in the rural South, where um, it's not uh, typical for uh, a, a young boy to be into playing the piano and dancing. And um, my advice to anyone being bullied is that being different means you make the difference. And that is a beautiful thing and anyone who's bullying you, it's only because they're afraid of who you are and don't let them take your power away. Well said, Justin, well, well said. Thank you. Listen to me, son. Kids are mean, especially when they see something that they ain't used to seeing. You ain't nothing but a criminal. You got no right looking after any child. You ready? Next one. What was your favorite thing about Palmer and Sam's dynamic and relationship? Is there a particular scene that you really love with the two of them? I love the relationship between the characters because you just, Palmer got right out of prison and Sam still is dealing with kind of a alcoholic mother. So I feel like Sam saves Palmer and Palmer saves Sam. I love that they both care for each other. Palmer knew that that big decision by taking me, he knew that he'd go back into prison, but he knew it was better for me. But he realized that he needed to take you back, to me, Sam, back. Sam realized that, not realized, Sam knew that, that Justin did not deserve to go, no, Palmer did not, de did not, did not deserve to go into prison. And I think that my favorite scene of them actually is the, 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 the big one, the crying when you go to jail. Mm. Yes, that that's a very that's an intense scene when 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 I bring when I bring you back home and and uh, well we don't want to give too we don't want to give too much away we don't want to give too much away yeah but, but I yes. feel like that really shows their bond and I really that's why it's my favorite scene so you also started working in entertainment when you were young what's your favorite memory. And what's your best piece of advice for me or other young actors? I used to work at MGM Studios 
uh, Disney MGM Studios in Orlando, Florida when I was 10. And there was one time where I was given two hours off and I had an employee pass. So I got to go and cut the lines and ride the Hollywood Tower of Terror at MGM Studios like 11 times in a row. That was awesome. And then there was a second part to the question, right? What was the second part? Um, the second part is, and what's your best piece of advice for me and other young actors? Have fun. Make sure you're having fun. Even if you're doing emotional work, um, it can still be fun. It can still, um, you can still find a way to make the process fun because you're young and you need to have fun. Be a kid. When Palmer gets arrested, Sam, oh, now we're going to talk about your favorite scene that you just talked about. Uh, when Palmer gets arrested, Sam is really upset and you run after the car. Entertainment Weekly is also saying, fantastic scene and work on Ryder's part, wow. Uh, were you worried about that scene or were you nervous about it? Do you wanna talk about, you wanna tell a little bit about what we did before the scene? Yeah, I was nervous. Um, we were talking about it and you, you were getting me through it cause it was like about time for the scene. So you were like, talking to me, we were having a great time in the car, but then we were like talking about the scene and it got a little emotional because, I mean, it happens sometimes. So, yes, I do remember that. But I knew you were gonna crush it and you did. And, 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 and Entertainment Weekly thinks so too. What are you gonna do? Beat up everyone that picks on him? You ain't nothing but a criminal. You just couldn't stay out of trouble, could you? Okay, Ryder, we have time for one more question. You wanna ask me uh, one more question? Okay, so I'm gonna do this question, which I think is a really great question for both of us. Um, where, where do you think Palmer and Sam will be in 10 years? And what would their lives be like? Oh, well, is Cheryl still there? Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe just tell her to write the sequel. Cheryl! <laughs> Excuse me, chop chop here. We need... And here's my coffee. It's been like five minutes until I got a sip of that. Okay, everyone, that was Ryder Allen. I am Justin Timberlake. This is Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table for Two. We hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have. And uh, we hope you enjoy our movie Palmer, which will be on Apple TV Plus on January 29th. Ryder, you wanna say anything before we uh, sign off? Yes. Cheryl, do you need me to scream any louder? Write the sequel. <laughs>